Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Remake. The silence is truly excruciating. So, let's make things not so silent and run through some fucking sharks! Yeah! Oh my god. I am so scared right now. Well, not really, but I need to act, don't I? Let me guess, caution? Yep. Use up my herb. I am back down to no healing again. I like how the music starts kicking in there when I'm leaving the room. The sharks are no threat to me anymore. But the music starts. <laughs> oh my god, you were leaving the room. Stay, the sharks are your friend, they're trying to protect you. And what you basically want to do is check this and try to drain the water. I say try to drain it because this happens. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Blocking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Maximum safety, eh? And safety. Hold on the shutter. And of course it doesn't go down all the way. Because of the oral pressure. Reaching 30% of So we need to go and fix the right valve. I'm gonna guess two. I was wrong. I'll guess three. I was right. Two out of three ain't bad. Back to the safety, back to the shutter, and then that's it. We get it. Sharks are after me. Pretty sure there's shotgun shells over here. Yes, there is. I know this is probably like completely random, but I could really go for some KSC right now. Like that. They have this new thing called the double down, and it's like amazing. And I can still go for one of those right now. Just saying. Oh, and there's this, uh, there's this massive shark one to eat. I'm just gonna run straight by it. Grab the key, and leave. Alright, bye shark. Nice try trying to get me, though. At least you tried, man. At least you tried. Man, I'm gonna kill it, baby. I killed your baby shark. What the fuck are you gonna do? Oh yeah, nothing, because you're stuck in water. The shark started it, not me. I just ended it. Well, I ended its baby's life. Pick up the Magnum ammo. If if one of my friends is watching right now, he'll know exactly what was on my mind when I was picking up that Magnum ammo. He knows exactly what I'm thinking about right now. And if you want to see good videos, pretty much Resident Evil related, kind of like what I do, then you can check out this channel too, The Gaming Cure. All one word. But I think that's all what you can really do on YouTube anyways, just all one word. 
So yeah, the gaming cure. C U R E. Check it out or I'll kill you. And I'm going the wrong way. Bees everywhere. Oh no. I'm a pirate. What? I wonder if you can actually get killed by bees in this game. That might be something I want to try out, just for the fun of it. <laughs> get killed by bees. Like, what would you do? Would you just, like, fall to the ground while they fly around you? Like, what the fuck would happen? Now before I go in there and fight the boss, um, as you can see I don't really have the ammo or even like weapons to beat him, so I need to go get my grenade launcher. And I just thought since I'm going to save, I could possibly go and check to see if it is possible to be killed by bees. But I just killed them, so they're not going to be there anymore. Oh well. I'll try some other time. On my own time. I'll check on my own time, and then I'll post a comment in this video whether it was possible or not. So, check back. You never know. My guess is you can't get killed by them. You probably can just be put to danger, and that's it. I would save, but meh, this boss is incredibly easy with the grenade launcher, if you have flame rounds, that is. Uh, get grabbed again. But that will be the last time since I'm going to torch his fucking ass. I was gonna torch your ass, yo. Open the door. Don't fuck with me, Jill. Do not fuck with me. I'm intense. And here we go. Basically just a room away from the boss now. Um, yeah. Just have to go for and do this small kind of puzzle, really. And then we're at the boss. So basically, if you're first time playing the game, even though I don't think you're just going to randomly want to play this game because you watched an LP of it, but just in case you did, this is how you do the puzzle. So it's this book, with that book, so the far left with the middle. And then the second book from the left, with the second book from the right. And then the last book, with the third book from the left. And now we're about to face probably the easiest boss on Jill's scenario. And that's it. That is the boss. I 
I might not be able to say it's the easiest boss for Jill because I actually got hit there and it takes about the same amount of grenades as the Crimson Head, so technically the Crimson Head was easier. But yeah, they're both fucking insanely easy. And now we will finally meet Captain Wesker again. So I'll just let this cutscene play then so you can listen to it. But I'm gonna walk backwards into it again, just because I can. Wesker! Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? It's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. So yes, we finally find Wesker. We've finally done it. And what do we do? We run away from him. Like, what? We screw up again. Take that beast. But yeah, like, really. You find your the captain of your entire team, and you split up from him again? Like, what the fuck? You think you try to find Captain America and team up and all go and just try to escape together, run out through the woods back to Raccoon City? It wouldn't be that hard. It's just outside, it's the, like, the outskirts of Raccoon City, but whatever. Arg, whatever. your funeral game characters. Should I take the Magnum with me? I think the shotgun's okay for now for most parts. And just carry all the ammo I have with me. Normally that'd be a problem as Chris, but Jill has a lot of room for inventory, so in, in her inventory, so it's not an issue. Take a bit of health with me. Cause we're gonna be fighting some annoying fucking enemies on the way back to the mansion now. But yeah, we're going back to the mansion now. Jill already said that, I think, but whatever. <laughs> uh, again, my memory. Sometimes not great. Okay, so, saved, and I think I'll end the part a bit early this time, so... Yeah. So, next time I see you, we'll be going back to the mansion, exploring it further to get our last fun, a few items and then escaping into the uh, Umbrella Labs. And I keep aiming up and down to shock it. Shoot! There we go. Alright, so see you in the next part, guys.